Howdy! Today on Broke Left Stick Games First Impressions, we are looking at the game Shadow Tactics, Blades of the Shogun. This game came out of nowhere for me. Tiff and I were deciding what games to get in the month of August, and she showed me the gameplay clip of this game, and my gut reaction was I had to get it. Shadow Tactics takes me back before I graduated high school when I played the heck out of a game called Commandos. Shadow Tactics pulls mostly all of those elements that made Commandos one of the best real-time strategy games I've ever played. I got some time with the console version and I am pleased to say that there was a lot of tweaks put into this version to make it feel fluid. I realized the support from the PC version, which I didn't know about until pretty much this popped up on my radar. The big difference is instead of the point and click with the mouse, all movements have been mapped to the controller quite elegantly. I've played over an hour and a half, I finish up the first mission, and I have a few takeaways up to this point. First, for how many moving parts this game has to perform, I can say the transition to the controller feels right at home. Much like Diablo 3 moved to the consoles, and actually in my eyes, played quicker compared to its PC brother. Second is presentation, which up to this point appears rock solid. From fluid menus, relatively decent load times, fully voiced characters, all packaged inside a very stylized atmosphere and aesthetic. One mode which took me a few moments to understand was shadow mode. This is where you set up your team to perform a simultaneous attack or plan. At first, I felt it was quite complicated, but I believe it was mostly due to the rust I built up from not playing this genre and less to do with poor explanation. Shadow Tactics up to this point has actually made it quite important to inform me each step of the way how to use and interact with every situation. My only frustrating moments were user error. This meaning where I forgot to quick save and lost the wealth of time to being killed and needing to reload to undo my mistakes. The other was the challenging learning curve and I was only on normal difficulty. In the age of the comment, get good, Shadow Tactics definitely expects you to do just that, which over the next few days, I plan to. I also hope to have a fully detailed review and also some more gameplay footage up in the next few days. If you like what you see here, please like, subscribe, comment, and check our links below. We here at Broke Lifts the Games appreciate you guys stopping by, and we hope you'll tune in for more Shadow Tactics gameplay and footage in the next few days. See you soon. Thanks. Now, it's up to the old man.